everybody. Thank you for tuning in to The Real Men of Real Estate. Your host, Thomas Chappelle here. Um, I just want to just say um, it's wonderful to be here. It's wonderful to be blessed to be in everybody's presence just that you can hear my voice on the airwaves. And we're here to talk about real estate and uh, the dynamics of real estate. And for those who are new, wanting to get into this thing called real estate and how do they get into it, um, I am uh, what you consider uh, an investor. I invest into uh, resale properties. I find them, fix them up, and I resell them. I also keep some as rentals to have rental income. And then also there's some that I wholesale out because, like I tell people, I'm a capitalist and I need all my money. <laughs> also, um, I'm a hard money lender, so if people are looking for money to do uh, new constructions, new development, apartment complexes, long short-term rentals, as well as fix and flips, you can reach out to me. Uh, also a mentor slash motivational speaker. Um, for those who are wanting to get started or not sure how to get started or not sure how to assess the property or whatever the case may be, feel free to reach out to me as well as I have a real estate investment club. It's every third Wednesday of the month. It used to be at the Mission Inn, but because of this COVID thing, um, everything is virtual. So um, basically every third Wednesday of the month, I'm on Zoom, so you can come and check me out. Uh, we have all different types of people that are in the, in the real estate industry, uh, appraisals, uh, hard money lenders, uh, contractors, uh, escrow companies, everything you can think of that can help you in your um, search for uh, doing real estate. And then also um, here I have this radio show. And I'm also giving up people opportunities to be able to find out what this thing real estate is all about. I mean, a lot of people are wanting to reinvent themselves basically because of what's going on in the economy and the way the job market is. And, and it's a good thing to be able to want to start your own business and whatnot and be able to be in control of your own funds. A lot of people want to know how does it work for them. And the biggest thing you have to understand, why? Why would you want to get into this kind of a, a environment? Um, why do you actually uh, do the things that you do on a regular basis? You always got to have a why in the things that you do in order for you to accomplish. And then you have to turn around and be with like-minded people to understand, hey, I can really do this. I mean, everybody says it's a mindset and the people don't understand that mindset is you wrapping your mind around doing something that you have no idea what you're doing. So when I talk to people and I mentor them, I tell them, hey, two things. Don't use the word try and don't use the word uh, uh, fear wise because you're trying not to uh, fail. And failure is um, a thing that people look at, but there's no such thing as failure. The question is, how can you fail at something that you've never done before? So you have to have a different way of looking at things from an objective perspective. And a lot of people don't understand that, you know. Um, most people have read the book Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And most people say, oh, it's a mindset, this, that, and the other. It talks about uh, being able to um, uh, capitalize on your own finances and whatnot. But the thing that I got out of the book was the fact is, is that it wasn't the fact that his dad was poor. His dad had a Ph.D., which is the highest education you can get in America. And the only problem is, is that his dad had capped out, which means is that he couldn't make any more money higher than what that Ph.D. allowed him, where the other dad didn't have uh, any cap out. The other dad had uh, uh, no filter, which means is that he can be able to create a lot of different income streams versus what his dad had. So actually that's what you have to look at, being able to have multiple income streams as well as systems set up. And that's just not in real estate. That's basically in anything that you do. You've got to have a system set up to where you can be able to do multiple things that would not affect you. A lot of people say, hey, I got a system set up to where I can just be on my computer for an hour and I got the rest of the day to myself 
or I can not only do it from my computer, my desktop, or my laptop, but I can also do things from my phone because the way the systems are set up. So it's very easy. It's just being around like-minded people to understand how to get how to accomplish these things. And that's basically where we, where we at when it comes to real estate. A lot of people do come to these real estate investment meetings. A lot of them don't stay because some of them feel like, okay, I'm seasoned enough. I understand. I think I got it. Or, you know what? These guys are not telling me the truth. And I'd rather just go somewhere where I can just pay for my education. Well, sometimes when you pay for these education things, they don't work out. They just want your money. And then they leave you holding the bag, basically saying, OK, go figure it out. Yeah, they give you the workbooks and all the different material that you need. But if you're not understanding what it is you're doing, it sounds Greek. So it end up being one of those things that you leave on the shelf that collects dust because you really don't want to fool with it because you want it to be instantaneously instead of me have to go ahead and figure this out and work it out and so forth and so on. But if you come to these meetings where all you're paying for is the venue, you know, 20 bucks, if that, some of them are free, you know, and the more you stay, the more you learn. When I start going to these real estate investment meetings, I act like the club was mine. I took it over. I introduced myself to everyone. I told people, hey, why are you sitting down? Get up off the seat, you know, come and mingle. And I introduced them to the um, to the organizers of the meetings and the organizers of the meetings took notice of that and ended up taking notice of that. And I ended up getting the real estate investment club out of it. Wasn't looking to get one, but it happened that way because I took the initiative. I showed up every day. Not only did I show up every day, I started doing things and people took notice and started saying, Hey, I would love to help you out versus me sitting there trying to figure it out myself. You know, and that's the whole point. You know, you have a community that's willing to help you get where you need to go. We don't want your money. We want your brain. You know, a lot of these meetings, they do have uh, boot camps and videos and tapes and books that they're selling. But that's all they're doing is just making money off of you buying their programs where we're not buying your we're not giving you programs. We're giving you information that will be able to get you to the next level. And if you get a little stump, we will help you break it down to a microscience because you become our billboard. You become our advertiser. Once you do well and we had a part of you doing well, hey, people want to want to come to us and learn. You know what I'm saying? So there's no reason for us to want to advertise. I mean, not advertise, but there's no reason for us to want to charge you for the knowledge we would rather give it to you sometimes people get knowledge and they don't do nothing with it when they get it for free sometimes people get it and they pay for it and they get it it just depends on the individual so the thing of it is is that you want to be able to understand what it is you want to do with your life how can you reinvent yourself how can you make yourself better you know and the one thing is is understanding what your why is why did you get up this morning Why did you take a shower? Why did you brush your teeth? Why do you live in the house you live in? Why do you drive the car that you drive? You know, once you understand your why, then certain things get into perspective and make you understand, hey, I can do anything I put my mind to it. My biggest why was that I was a single dad. You know, I raised my son since he was six months old. So it gave me the ability to be in his academic life, you know, that I was there every step of the way. Now that he's 18 going on 19, you know, letting him live his life. But the other thing was I was there to help guide him in his academic career, and that's what I wanted. You know, all the different sports that he played, all the different activities that he had in school, I was there because I know that my mother couldn't be there for me because she worked a lot, you know. So I wanted to give my son what I wasn't able to get when I was a child. Not saying I had a bad childhood, but, you know, I played sports. And, you know, you always want to see somebody that you recognize up in the stands cheering you on. So that was my particular why. So I didn't want him, my son, to turn around and become like I was, you know. So, therefore, he watched me as I progressed in this business. 
and I gave him a choice to say, hey, you can either do it this way or do it that way. But what, what the thing is is I will support you no matter what it is that you want to do within reason, you know. So um, we're sitting here waiting on our guest to arrive. We're doing a uh, virtual um, uh, interview, and we're just waiting for him to arrive. So I'm just going to sit here and um, – See if people want to call in and, and let's chat. Uh, the local number here is 909-792-5222. Once again, that's 909-792-5222. Or the toll-free number is 888-909-1050. Once again, that's 888 888- 909-1050. I would love to hear some of you guys' ideals and comments um, until our guest arrived that uh, you have any questions or anything on real estate. So um, let's let's talk about um, real estate investment clubs. Why are they relevant? Well, they're relevant because the fact is, is that when somebody wants to reinvent themselves and they're not sure how to get started, here you are dealing with like-minded people. Some are in the same position that you are in that would like to get started and not sure how to. You have some that's seasoned, that's been doing it for a while, that can nurture you to get started, you know. And the thing of it is is that there's no I in team. So the point is is that you need someone to help you out to get where you want to go because they have done it. You know, they had some some roadblocks that they had or some challenges that they had to meet and whatnot. So that's one of the things we're looking at. So the whole thing is, is that this is why these clubs are really irrelevant. I got started not sure what I'm doing and what I need to do. So I started going to these clubs and these clubs saved me. So hold on. We got a call real, real quick. So hold on. Good hello, night, yeah. This, caller. How can I help you? Yeah, hello. I have a question for your uh, uh, host. Yes, sir. This is Thomas. How may I help you? What's the difference between, let's say, uh, uh, your club and, and uh, let's say, uh, one of them clubs uh, like in L.A. or whatever? I mean, I, uh, I go to these L.A. clubs and they, they have a speaker and by the time the speaker's done, he, he wants to get in your back pocket and pull out a, you know, 20 grand. Then he tells you it's not 20 grand. He's just going to just run up your credit card so it doesn't cost you any money. So what's the difference? Well, my difference, and- my, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to cut you off, but my, the difference with my club and most of the clubs I go to are non-sales clubs, which means they're not looking to get in your back pocket. You know, we rather give you the information and help you because that's what happened with me. When I got into this thing called real estate, I had no clue what I was doing. I didn't have any money and I didn't know how to get started. So I was going to a meeting and um, somebody told me to go look up on Meetup. I didn't know Meetup existed. Meetup is like a social media website. But it's not like Facebook. It's not like Instagram. It's basically uh, groups that come together to meet in other minds that are are interested in the same thing. And basically, that's all they really do. Then there are some sales clubs out there. But mine and others that I am affiliated with, we we don't want your back. We don't want to get in your back pocket. We don't need your money. Basically, we want to help you because, like I said earlier, you become my advertisement. You become my billboard. So, therefore, why should I have to dig in your pocket? And if you end up becoming successful, you're going to tell everybody you know, hey, guys, I went to this club and these these people did this and they helped me get that. And I was able to get my first deal, whether you turn around and found the deal that you wholesale. So, say, for instance, if you don't understand the difference between wholesaling and JV, you turn around and find a property, but you don't have the money to fix up. That's what most people say. I don't have the money to fix it up. I don't have the money to purchase it. So you go find an investor. He end up running his numbers and he see, okay, this is a great deal. 
he will turn around and buy it for you. Now, on the buy side, you will get paid. So the, the difference of it is, depending on how long he keeps it in escrow, that's when you get paid. You know, now what a JV partner is, is that you guys together and you learn as you go through the the, the investor might go ahead and uh, purchase the property, pay for the supplies as well as uh, pay the contractor, fix the property up. And when the property goes back on the market for resale, once it resells, that's when you get paid. So it just depends on how you look at it. Sometimes you're. JV money is higher than your wholesale money. It just all depends on how the property is structured. But um, my club is every third Wednesday of the month is on Zoom. The meeting is called Black Inland Empire Real Estate Investment Club. You can go to it on Meetup or you can go to the website, which is B-I-E-R-E-I-C dot com. You can um, go there and check it out. Right now, we're going to take a commercial break and we'll come back in a minute with more Real Men of Real Estate. Thank you.